Hello you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. This is JJ. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day or night or whenever you do come across this video. So today's message, the guys just said something random. So there's a message that wants to come through. Nothing specific, no topic in mind. It's just something that you need to hear at this time. So we have pile one and pile two. Like I said, timestamps are always in the description box below. You guys already know that. Um, but also, you'll find everything in the link tree as well, and that is in the description box below. Remember that these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Something doesn't fit, do not force it to fit. With that being said, I hope that all of you are having an amazing summer. Let's start off with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. If you chose this pile, this is your message. So let's have a look. Let's see. What is coming through for you guys? I feel like I want to actually just randomly pick here. I don't know why I'm picking up like you guys are um, starting something new. Okay, so we have spiritual teachings. It says, believe, believing money is the root of all evil creates problems with money. Okay, money is a tool, right? Money isn't money in itself it's neutral it's how you choose to use it that matters you can use it for evil purposes or you can use it for good to create beauty help others and thrive in order to serve humanity okay so what i am getting here is <clears throat> this energy of for a lot of you i feel like you might be visiting um money money blockages you might be looking at what, what beliefs do you have around your your money um, is money good is money bad you know uh, do you want to start something new start budgeting maybe saving your money more self-exaltation okay so elevating self-importance is manifesting in prideful attitudes towards others humility reminds you that success doesn't all come from what you have but what you offer to others recognize your strengths and weaknesses and be willing to learn from others to achieve more okay so for some of you there might be some type of ego death here maybe saturn is transiting your second house maybe that's for some of you uh, for others of you, I feel like you are examining, you know, whether you're in a situation because um, your ego is attached to it as well as what I'm getting here. Heavy Leo, we have important. This is an important lesson that you're learning. Drama. Okay. We have a shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Okay, pile number one. What is going on? Um, I feel like there's an important message here around your money. How you're administering your money. A younger male, this might be the ancestor that's coming in with this message. Uh, for others of you, you might be a younger a younger soul, a younger person. You don't have to. Uh, or maybe there is something around a younger a younger male in your life here box you will receive a gift and excitement okay so this is what I'm getting without even looking at the other cards here I feel like you guys are about to discover something here financial okay something financial is coming about and I feel like your guides are gifting you something this message came out on Instagram as well maybe this is an ancestor who has the uh, who was um, a uh, this person might have been younger than you when they passed okay that's for some of you not for all of you but I'm also getting like this person might have been a uh, monkey in Chinese astrology as well that's also something that I am getting here but I feel like there is an important gift coming in there's a sum of money coming in and this is important right this is important because your guides are saying do not let your ego get in the way what do i mean by that i mean like you know taking this money and not investing it wisely okay that's something that is coming through and this particular ancestor or this particular guide is telling you maybe when it comes to your finances you're a bit young you're a bit young the way you manage the way you invest the way you move your money there's something there okay age is not it's not a definitive here is what i'm getting but they are warning you to take care of your money because if not there will be a material loss here 
of some kind, okay? This is more of a, like a warning, like an advice kind of uh, situation here because I feel like this is going to make you very excited because like I said, it's like you're discovering or money is coming and something that you're doing, something that you're doing, don't let your ego get in the way and, and like say like, oh, I know how to do this. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Um, because I mean, yes, you are protected, but they are coming in and letting you know like, hey, watch it. Okay, watch it. And then we have the whale. Yeah, great worry over nothing. I feel like here, like I said, you still are protected, but your guides are saying, look, don't let ego run the show here. Because whatever this is, this is big. This is big. So just invest it wisely, manage it wisely. Okay, and this is a spiritual lesson. For some of you, you have already learned this or you have already been in this situation before. You know, this doesn't kind of look like, you know, um, you're spending more. Like, let's say, for example, right, the, the more usual credit cards, things like this, right? Pearls of Wisdom. And the Creative Force. Yeah, for some of you, there's something you are creating here. Support. You're creating something that you're about to be so... Okay and family this might be a family gift but i feel like this younger person that's coming in is letting you know the amount of money that's coming into your life maybe you just bought a pearl a pearl necklace or you just bought some type of jewelry here you might be life path 22 life path 9 life path 2 i feel like whatever this is is gonna put you in a very stable place very stable place with a lot of support it's like they're helping you they're helping you cross this bridge over okay helping you get through a difficult situation again strong male energy that's coming through with this particular ancestor but whatever it is is going to make is going to bring in a lot of money and i feel like that's part of your karma that's part of your dharma because of the work that you've done because of the spiritual teachings that you have gone through and I feel like this is your ancestors and your guides letting you know, like, you're going to be supported. You're going to be taken care of, not only for you, but your family, but also you have to be very wise. You've already learned that lesson with money is what I'm getting here. And for others of you, like I said, you are creating something beautiful here, something creative, something that's going to pay off. Maybe you started this, like, let's say something very small and now it's turning really big because I, I am seeing here the um what is it called the telephone lines I don't know what they're called but I don't know the proper name but it seems like you're networking or like you're connecting with others yeah you're connecting with others here and I feel like this is gonna bring in a lot of wealth with the nine of pentacles like you're going to be able to be financially independent now that doesn't mean you're going to be a billionaire you know or anything like that but it does mean you're going to feel good okay it's like this energy of like i don't have to worry about my bills anymore i don't have to worry if i'm gonna have this um or i'm going to you know be able to pay this off like you're going to be good and this is something that because you work the nine of pentacles is you got yourself there this is a self-made person, okay? This is not someone who was just gifted, like, um, you know, an inheritance or won the lottery. Like, the Nine of Pentacles is this energy of, like, you worked through the whole Pentacle suit to get here. You created this garden. You made this for yourself. And I feel like that's why your guides are bringing this in now. Because they're saying, okay, you worked for it. You already learned the lessons here. For some of you, part of your life purpose is to help families in some way, okay? Whether this is because you are a social worker, this is because you're a therapist, because you are maybe a teacher, okay? You teach. Uh, for others of you, it can be that you are a doctor, a pediatrician, something like this where you're able to assist families, okay? Or maybe you work for a CPS, something like that. Teenage soul. Look what I, look, what I was saying. This is about a younger soul. I feel like the money that's going to come into your life, I feel like you haven't, you don't have experience managing this amount of money. For whatever reason, this is what it's feeling like, okay? But I also feel like you are going to feel free here because you're going to have the freedom to explore. You're going to have that liberty here. For some of you, you're going independent. 
and dependent from your family as well. Maybe you have already and you're kind of, you have been worried about like, oh, well, maybe there was a lot of drama associated with that because you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be okay. It's the first time I'm moving away from family, um, but you're, you're okay. You're okay. You're going to be okay. Okay. Because I feel like you are someone who is very ambitious, you know, in the most positive light. But again, you guys are seeing, you know, just, you know, with the self exaltation here, like, you know, echa mano de tu experiencia. Basically, remember what you have learned. Remember your backstory. The page of cups. Yes, because you're going to be offered something here. And then victory. We have victory will be yours. Your enemies will be defeated. Keep going and you'll have your win. Again, there is success here after a dark period of your time, of, of your life, okay? Let's see if I can get anything else. For some of you, you are dating very soon, okay? For others of you, there's there's this creative project. Okay, if you guys have um, earphones or like AirPods or something, lower it, please, while I am over here, like moving around the tokens. I feel for some of you you're going to be traveling very soon. I don't know. I'm getting like Sequoia, Colorado. I don't know why I'm getting that as well. Ooh, we got Virgo. So maybe something around Virgo season, Libra season. Maybe you are a Virgo. Maybe you are a Libra. Yeah, I feel like you've weathered certain things, okay? You went through some things here. Uh, maybe it's raining where you're currently at. I was going to say where you are stationed. So I don't know. Um, I feel like you weather certain things. Again, you are supported. And because of these spiritual teachings and these spiritual lessons, you are now being gifted this. I feel like with this particular here, it's like a gamble. It's a gamble. I feel for some of you, you're going to gamble in something or you're going to invest in something. Again, if you don't know if this is the best investment, seek help from someone else, someone who is wiser, someone who has experience in this, okay? Because I feel like whatever this is, it feels like rookie energy. It feels like I'm new to this, okay? But this card also lets me know, like, you have all the suits, you have all the elements, the magician, you have everything, but the ball's in your court. You get to decide whether you choose to invest in this or not. I see more balance coming in. Um, with Virgo, I see more healing as well. Yeah, for some of you, feel like you invested. Maybe this is in the past. You've already invested this and you're now receiving your gifts. You didn't know how good it was going to be when you invested this. Yeah, your wake-up call. Your wake-up call to see something. That storm was your wake-up call to see something. There's something here about time. Time is of the essence here is what I'm getting here. Mm hmm... Or it's time that you receive this gift. Use your intuition. Okay, let me look real fast at the little book here. Okay, spiritual perception. Awareness. Okay. Yeah, they're wanting to get your attention. Something here is important. It's important. They're wanting you to pay attention to your finances, to your investments, what it is that you're investing in the long run. Yeah, there's some type of a wake-up call here. You are For some of you, I feel like you have already experienced this wake-up call, and for others of you, you're about to. Because they've been trying to get your attention here. Because I saw her like pointing, pointing to the important. Something here is important. And I'm going to pull a card in regards to that because I don't want to leave you guys like that hanging. Hold up. Yeah, you have all the tools in your toolbox. Be very strategic with this. Very strategic. So let's say, for example, you know, you're wanting to 
invest in something again do your due diligence do your research okay don't just go in blinded by something or signing something without having it looked over that's wanda over there <laughs> let's see what is this about give me one card what is this about oh that was fast and the sun but it was in reverse don't okay don't be overconfident in something and we got the same thing here don't think you know something without doing your research pile number one look more into into the details okay that's that's what i'm getting here look more into the details of something because i feel like there's this energy of like oh okay i i know what this is about and you overplay your hand like mm, be careful with that okay that is something that is coming true yeah because something will be offered to you something will be offered to you either by a king of sword or you are the king of swords and we do have libra here again be very discerning do your research this king is very smart this is my lawyer this is my attorney this is my judge this is my a doctor my specialist if you need to ask a specialist or a professional about whatever this is that is being offered please do so is what i'm getting here pile number one yeah but that is what i have for you pile number one take care of yourselves stay safe bye hello pile number two this is your message let's have a look let's see what is your message oh, okay we have act of love is self-preservation okay well, are you doing too much are you doing too much pile number two are you forgetting about yourself are you keeping yourself hydrated did you say you were gonna make a diet change and you haven't like you haven't followed through i feel like there's something about make sure that you're not but this feels about self-love i'm getting like self-care okay did you say you were gonna make more time for yourself and you haven't did you say you were gonna schedule that doctor's appointment and you have not like did you say you were going to leave something like like a um let's say like a i don't know why i'm getting like sober us uh, being sober There's something here that you said you were going to do, and I feel like your guys are saying, and you have not followed through. Appearances. Okay. For some of you, are you doing something because of what others think? Okay. There's something here that you're doing because you're afraid to tell other people no. Or you're afraid to tell people, like, I can't do that. Hidden blessings. The easy way out. Okay. So we have here, in the long run, the easier route is harder and makes it more difficult. And then we have make a sacrifice. Not everything needs to be hard, but it shouldn't all be easy either. Accept the challenge and show the world you will not be stopped. Okay. Yes, for some of you, I feel like this is giving two types of energies for me. This is this is kind of like you working at it, right? But also sacrificing yourself in the process by not resting, by not taking care of you, by not, you know, uh, maybe, you know, you, there's something that you shouldn't be eating this or you shouldn't be having too much. I don't know why I'm getting sodium or something like that. Um, or maybe... I don't know there's something here because i keep i keep seeing like a medical chart but again i'm not a healthcare so i'm not a professional in any way so you know follow your doctor's orders but i'm seeing that so i don't know if there's something here that you already know that you should be doing but yet you have not oh well that is interesting that that came out okay protected Ooh. okay for some of you if you feel like um this is being done you are protected you are safe archangel michael is showing up okay if you feel that this is the case negative energies are hindering your growth and success make sure that this negative energy is not your own like 
you know, self-sabotage, your own way of thinking, your own perception of things. That's for some of you, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, yes, you probably need to do some cleansing, need to do some baños, need to do some sound medios here. But again, you are protected, okay? You are protected. You're taken care of. I feel like here for others of you, uh, there is a big change coming in. There's a big change manifesting for you. And I feel like this might be a race, like the card says, or this might be a new job. For others of you, I am sensing like relocation. This is going to come in suddenly as well with the Knight of Swords. If something happened, let's say, for example, you had to relocate unexpectedly or you had to change jobs or you were laid off or, you know, there was cuts at your job or... You know, certain delays in regards to that, that is a hidden blessing. There is something better that will come in its place, okay? We have the wall, misunderstanding. Shield, you need to defend yourself, okay? For some of you, you do need to take care of yourself. Whether this is because you need to say no to certain people, maybe, you know, there are certain things being put on you, certain responsibilities that are not yours, Okay, that's for some of you. For others of you, it can just be like you taking care of yourself. You honoring the fact that, you know what, I'm tired. I need to rest. I need to relax for a bit. I need to go out and, you know, get some sunlight or something like this. But I feel for some of you, you're going through something, but you're not saying it or you're not showing it. Okay, and I totally get that. But there's something here. It's giving the energy of like suffering and silence. Dark man. Okay. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Okay. So for some of you, I do feel here. For some of you, there is a masculine energy that some of you are wanting to move away from. That's for some of you. Yeah. For some of you, you're around someone who has like a very, like they're very harsh. They're very mean with their words, okay? With the Knight of Swords or they're very impulsive. They lash out. And then we have trouble or accusations, okay? Maybe for some of you, you're going through a situation like that time to decide, yeah. For some of you, I feel like you're deciding whether to stay near this person or not. Or maybe you are a male watching this and you are going through something like this. And it's like you have to decide now or a decision needs to be made. I feel like whatever this decision is, is not an easy one with the Three of Swords, okay? This is something that I feel like you've been sitting on it. You've been thinking about it. I feel like your guides are really encouraging you not to take the easy way out. To not take the easy way out. Know that you are protected. Know that you're taken care of. If you're wanting a new job, if you're wanting a raise, you will get that. If something happened here where... Again, it was like a tower moment and it happened really fast... That's a hidden blessing here for you because it's moving you towards a new direction. I feel like there's some type of misunderstanding here. Whether you know this and you're like, well, that got way out of hand. And now there's like someone misunderstood my words or someone. I don't know. There's something there with the Knight of Swords. Compassion. Release the past. This might be a situation from the past collaboration. Collaborations led to lead to higher levels. Learn to appreciate others' viewpoints. You'll have a successful collaboration. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like maybe something happened when you were working with someone else that, again, there was a misunderstanding, the way we expressed ourselves, the way we communicated. Um, there might have been accusations here. Again, that in itself was a hidden blessing because it moved you somewhere else or it's going to move you somewhere else. Even though, you know, the situation in itself was not good and it was not pleasant. It was even hurtful, I'm getting here with the Three of Swords. I feel for some of you, you have been wanting to manifest this change. And it's happening. 
this looks like La Catrina. So maybe for some of you, you like La Catrina. Maybe your name is Katrina, Karina. I feel like also maybe before you would be so defensive with other people's viewpoints. And so it led to some type of like upheaval here. But I feel like your guides are saying let the past go because there is a group of souls that want to work with you. But it's kind of like if you're still holding on to the past, you will not be able to collaborate with those souls. Okay. Because you're still in this energy of defensiveness with that Knight of, Knight of Swords. This feels kind of like ego clashes, but I feel like it was more like um, this energy of like yeah, it was this energy of like, you know of like only my viewpoint is the right one. This could have been with a Queen of Cups water sign. Yeah, because there was some type of big misunderstanding that led to this big wall here. I feel for some of you, you are going to be able to, or to have the opportunity, yeah, to move away from this. For some of you, you are leaving a group because you're like, no, absolutely not. And so you're like, you know what? I'm just cutting my losses and moving somewhere else. And you're moving towards a new job, a new place. And again, that in itself, it's a hidden blessing. Because I feel like your guides are helping you get out of this situation that was very difficult. Okay, if you guys have um, AirPods or earphones, lower it while I move the charms around. And I feel for some of you, it's this energy of like, I, I'm the one that's being sacrificed in this situation. Like in the sense of like, I'm the one that has to make the move. I'm the one that has to like move away from the group. Your guys are saying, I know it looks like that and it feels like that. But actually, that was the only way to get you to where you need to be with that hidden blessing. To a better place, okay? To a place where more harmony. They're saying also have compassion with yourself as well. Because, um, yeah, I feel like you're being too harsh on yourself. Okay, let's see. Okay, for some of you, you are leaving. This could be a partner. This person might wear glasses. Maybe they love to wear sunglasses. Again, you are protected. For some of you, you feel like either you're under attack or you're feeling like maybe some type of like spell was put on you or something like that. I don't, you know, you guys know I don't like to say that energy if you've been here with me for a while. But if it is showing up, I will mention it. And, and it just showed up. So for some of you, again, you are protected, Okay. Something about maybe your birthday's in fall, in the fall. Something about Halloween. Um, yeah, for some of you, you need to watch your diet, or you said you were going to watch your diet and you didn't, and that, and I feel like this diet change was because of something that you needed because of your health. And this is a suitcase. Some of you are moving away. Yeah, some of you are moving away, you're traveling, you're moving in a new direction. Some of you, like, your, your connection with others, or you're moving away from a connection here. Ooh, what's that card here? <laughs> Ooh, maybe this person, okay, cowboy, hold up. Oh, this doesn't want to. Maybe this person likes to wear hats, or maybe you do. Or maybe this gentleman does. Yeah, I feel like there was some type of conversation. This is we're sitting down, having a lemonade, having coffee, having tea, something here. There was some type of misunderstanding here. Now I'm hearing that song, Love Hurts. Uh, we have Gemini. And we have the beach. And then this 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 card here is like you're moving to calmer waters. 
Yeah, for some of you, you had to move away from something or someone or a group of people because they weren't good. Okay, they weren't good. They weren't good for you is what I'm getting most, but let's see. Okay, now that I read that intuitively, I'm going to look at the book here. For some of you, there's new money coming in. Again, you're taken care of. You are protected. Yeah, there's like um, more prosperity coming in here. Yeah, this particular charm is all about don't forget to fill your own plate. That's that's that goes back to that um self-preservation. Don't forget to take care of you also. Don't forget to ask for your needs to be met. Or for you to meet your own needs and don't sacrifice yourself either. But there is a big decision here. Yeah, there's some type of conversations with friends. I don't know if you've been conversating with friends, maybe particularly with the water sign. About a gentleman. Because here this is the this is the sheriff's hat. So maybe law is involved here. Maybe you had to involve the law. Or someone here works in law, something like this. But there's something about enforcing rules and regulations. So I don't know if you were in a collaboration where somebody ran the group or something like this. Yeah, because right here with the true soulmate charm is in reverse. Someone thought somebody was their true soulmate, and it turns out that they weren't, okay? That's for some. For those who have been wanting to change jobs, many of you are getting like this um, raise here. Yeah, because this is the love hurt or love at first sight. Yeah, like someone is not being honest. Someone is playing it cool or someone's in disguise with the with the sunglasses here. But again, it can just be that you wear sunglasses, you like sunglasses, you wear prescription glasses, or maybe this person does or someone here does. Um, it can also see that you see things clearly as well. You might be 27 years old. You might be life path number nine. Okay, what else? What else am I getting here? Okay, those are all that I'm getting. But I do want to clarify this card. What is this decision about? What is this decision here? Time to decide. Yeah, it's like someone has to decide based on their heart's true desires. The world. Whether to close this or to open a new chapter. King of Swords. Yeah, whether to walk away, close the chapter, or to start a new one. Hmm. 
some of you just visited the beach some of you like I said you're a Gemini maybe you have a tattoo of a pumpkin maybe some of you just traveled so you just bought new glasses have two heart tattoos have a heart with an arrow tattoo a cowboy um, a hat maybe you just bought a hat you wear lots of hats for others of you there is someone that wants to come in and clear some type of misunderstanding or you're going to or you're the one that wants to clear something up with someone Okay, one last card here. First pile two. One last card. Maybe this is something from the past as well. If somebody wants to get back on your in your energy. Maybe this person is a driver. This person drives a lot, or this person drives past your home. As for some of you, some of you you like going. Um, What was I getting with that? Someone is moving in your direction. I don't know who this person is, but they're moving in your direction and they're moving in fast. They're moving in fast and I feel like they want to clear something here. But again, your guides are saying, you know, you are protected, you're taken care of. Don't forget that you can either say yes or no to this person, okay? Because I feel like this person in some way, they feel like they have some type of authority over you or you gave them that authority. And again, self-preservation. Do not be afraid to say no. Because saying yes or no, and I said this on Instagram today, is an act of love. Because as long as you're choosing from a place of honoring yourself, that is an act of love. You saying, no, I do not agree with that. No, you're not allowed to come in. Or yes, right? But that is what I have for you, pile number two. This one was actually very interesting. Uh, let me know in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.